I had an interesting experience with um, my meditation. I think it was last year. Um, I'd done a meditation where I had the experience of bringing uh, light energy. Well, it kind of was a, uh, it came in the form of water, so I could hear water. And I was in my meditation and I'm, my, my fingers are up like this and I just feel this stream of um, like a waterfall of water kind of coming down into my fingertips. And I really felt it. Like I felt this cascading waterfall of energy just coming down and kind of going, coming through my arms, down into my body and just downward. Um, anyway, I just got out of my meditation and just got on with my day. And I had a meeting um, in the city in Melbourne so I drove into a car park in a very busy street in the CBD, um, parked my car, and I remember grabbing a ticket and thinking, oh, it's going to cost a bit. Um, but I thought, it's okay. And I, and I went to my meeting, had a great meeting, came back. And so I got to the pay machine in the car park, and so I pull out my credit card and just pop my credit card into the pay machine. And it just all of a sudden just completely malfunctioned and just started spewing out $100 bills just constantly, this one after the other. So, and no 50s, no 20s, literally spewing out of the ATM, sorry, the pay machine. And so I just had this sensation where I was just standing there for a moment and just all of this, these $100 bills, this money was just streaming right down almost in the same way as it had in the morning in my meditation. And I stood there for a while and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Because at one point, I just looked down and there's just like a whole stash of money at my feet. And I kind of froze uh, and looked around and there was a couple of Japanese guys um, waiting in line behind me to pay. So I was, I was just standing there and, and I, I looked down at all this money and I looked back at them and they looked at me and then we all looked at the money and I just I had no idea what to do with the situation. <laughs> Um, but I just thought, well, it's, it's not my money, and I, I, don't, I didn't even really want it. Um, so I grabbed my credit card back, and I popped it in the pay machine, and I paid, I got my receipt, and I went up and got my car, and I drove out. All of the money was gone, and the Japanese guys were gone, so they had a really good day. Um, but as I was driving out of the car park, I was in a different level of mind, a different space of consciousness. I just laughed the entire way home um, and it, was, it wasn't about the money, it wasn't about wanting to have the money, get the money to get staff or anything like that. I, the money meant nothing to me. It was like it was, I don't know, the carpet. It just, the money meant nothing um, because, I, because I knew I had created it and because I knew it had come from this space in me. Uh, I was just in this elevated state. and. Um, yeah, it was just awe. It was just one of the first experiences that I'd really had that was kind of, I had shifted and moved matter. And I mean, pay machines and ATMs, they don't, they don't usually malfunction. It's never happened in my lifetime. It's never happened in anyone I know's lifetime. So for me, it was one of those first profound experiences that really made me realize that, hey, I'm tapping into something here. You know, doing a meditation in the morning and just and I'm driving my car to work and I feel so much ecstasy in my body, I feel like I need to pull over and call a friend. Um, I'd never experienced that before. I'd, I'd, I'd practiced meditation and, and used meditation for relaxation and for mindfulness um, and, and had great effects from that on that level, but never had these peak experiences, these profound moments and, and, and quite often too. Um, yeah, there's, there, there's just so many different aspects um, of, of experiences that I've had and a lot of it is to do with this uh, moving, this shifting of energy in the lower centres and this movement up um, and connecting into my heart um, and I'm kind of at a level with it that I believe that I'm kind of around the heart and I'm working on the throat area at the moment and I'm kind of climbing up the back stairs a little bit here and, you know, and just it's it, it's a it's it's lifetime work I think you know and I think we're not necessarily only working on this lifetime stuff from this lifetime you know I believe that we're also working on 
stuff that we cannot comprehend that can be from way before our time. So, yeah, I, there's, there's, there's a very big distinction from when I came into Joe's work with just the um, really having a lot of, a lot of constant realisations and moments and things like that. I mean, to drive to work and have to, I mean, I had to call a friend when I was driving to work one day because I had so much ecstasy in my body. I, 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 I didn't know what to do. I was kind of, <laughs> I'm like, this is not normal. <laughs> and I'm looking around at people driving in their cars. And um, I, I mean, I've never experienced anything like that, not being on a drug and just driving to work, just, you know. So um, yeah, it's just experiencing something that's uh, extraordinary, you know, and just after sitting and connecting with energy just in the morning, just spending that time to do that and just that genuine um, interest and exploration of that for yourself, you know.